Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This video will be something different from what we regularly post. So if you are following our channel from long time, you might have come across some videos on the Roborace and Robor competitions which we used to participate before. Usually these competitions are conducted in the tech fests in some of the colleges. With respect to Roborace, we have made lot of tutorial videos on building wired and wireless robots and also for people who have less budget, we have come up with a solution video using the Arduino and motor drivers. I am also happy to share that some of my subscribers have built their own Roborace bot using this solution and won the competitions too. So even if you are looking forward to participate in such competitions, you can follow our tutorial videos and build one. So all links will be provided in the description box. Coming to the second one, which is the Robo Wars. So in this event, there are different categories, mainly based on the dimension and the bot weight. So if the category comes below 10 kg, then it's not an issue. You can easily go with the Robo Race bot as a base and add some additional defense and attacking mechanisms. The problem is when the category is more than 25 kgs, you have to build bigger bot with more powerful motors. And in this case, it's very difficult for the beginners to choose the proper electronics. So that's the reason we thought of sharing some information. At least whatever we have learned from our experience in these competitions. In our case, we have made this wedge bot, which is just for the defense purpose. But still, you can use this information to make any other attacking bots since the base for the moment remains same. Starting with the bot frame, this is how it looks. And we have made it completely using the iron. This has two parts. So this part is the chassis which holds both the motors and to the front side of this we have just welded two metal plates which acts as a wedge for defense. Coming to the dimensions, it's around 60 cm in length and breadth and around 22 kgs in weight. For the motors, I have used this 350 watt 24 volts e-bike motors so this is how they look so this motor already has a gearbox and after reduction it can provide up to 324 rpm and 11 newton meters of torque by default these motors come with a small sprocket on the shaft. If you want to use it as it is, you have to make some additional chain sprocket mechanism also on the wheels. But this will be complex and also give some issues 
during the match. So the best solution is to attach the wheels directly onto the shaft like how we have done. Since the existing shaft is very short in length, we have to remove it and make a duplicate one with more length. And at the tip, we have made a clamp like this to lock the tires. These wheels are of hard plastic and I have used a normal cycle tire as a gripper. Now this whole unit can be mounted on the frame using the clamp in this way. Coming to the control system, I have used these kind of spring type rocker DPT switches which helps in faster control. But if you see the specifications of these switches, they have only up to 5 amp current capacity which is not suitable for our motors since these e-bike motors consume around 19 amps. So initially when I used to connect these switches directly with the motor and the power supply the terminals were getting burned. So as a solution we started using this high current industrial relays which can control up to 60 amps. And in this case, we are still using our spring type DPDT switches just to trigger the relay coil. These are SPDT relays and we need two of them to control single motor. So these two will be for right motor and these two for the left motor. Since the coils in these relays are 12 volt, we need 12 volt power supply for the switches to trigger the coil activation. So I'm connecting this LiPo battery for the switches. For your reference, I have prodded this relay connection circuit link in the description box. During the match, I was using a 24 volt vehicle battery as a power supply for the motors. And now, just to demonstrate how we can change the direction, I have just considered a single motor here. So this is forward and this for backward. So this is how we had made this bot with reasonable budget and used to compete in lot of events.
even if you are interested to participate in these events you can start with a simple wedge bot and later on add some weapons like lifting which can be done using a truck wiper motor or else if you want to make an attacking bots you can do some changes in the chassis at the front and add a rotating weapons like cylinders or blades 1,2,3 For spinning these weapons, most of the teams were using these Amflow motors as I have seen. So this is how the basic robot or bot is built and I hope this video was informative. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. For more such interesting videos, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. Also. Follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in other interesting videos.